Hey guys, Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to the Golf Club and this week's TGCTours.com web.com tournament. We're on to round number three. Just to highlight a couple of things that were commented on the last video, I'm hoping that I sound a little bit better on this video because I have tweaked some of the settings um, on the recommendation of uh, some of the people that have left comments on the previous video saying that uh, a little bit soft, a little bit noisy, maybe adjust the ambient sound. So I have made some adjustments. I have also changed the headset. So hopefully this one sounds a little bit better when it goes out. So uh, let me know if it does sound better because obviously I'm not going to know this until the video gets posted onto YouTube. Um, one of the things that I was actually discussing with somebody while I was playing the last round was dropping down or dropping out of the web.com tour onto the challenge tour. After playing the round yesterday, I did actually contact TGC Tours and they are going to be doing that for me. So I'm going to be dropping down to the challenge circuit. Um, it can't happen until this particular event this particular tournament has been concluded so that will be as of monday so next week's tournament i should be playing will be probably not next week but the week after because by the time they drop me down on monday i won't be able to register for that week's event so it may be a week or so before i actually post another video on the challenge circuit however i will try and get some more videos up on the uh the real course reviews channel and let's get this round underway we are on round number three after a 10 under par round number two which should see us make the cut the cut is currently two shots two or three shots off where i'm currently lying so fingers crossed i do make the cut hence why i'm playing this particular round now because there is a chance that i may make the cut so Let's get into round number three. That's a great drive on the first hole. I think yesterday, yeah, yesterday I bogeyed the first hole, so I want to try and avoid doing that on this round. That's 131. It's pretty much bang on the money. Little bit of wind here. Let's try and get this nice and close to the flag. wind did not bring that in at all okay so it's going to give me a fairly tough putt 10 feet okay bogey on the round on the first hole of round number two birdie on the first hole of round number three so off to a good start I want to see if I can oh there we go Smirnoff's played this Cape Apple hasn't played this at all by the looks of it not this third round anyway I was one shot behind him um, let's have a quick look how we get on against Smirnoff he's currently playing in this tour but I thought he said he'd got uh, he got demoted on yesterday's chat I could be wrong but it was pretty sh I'm pretty sure that's who I was chatting to he may have done it recently so that's why he suggested it so now the wind had very little effect on the last one, so I am going to leave it there. I'm going to take a little off of this. Make sure I get 100%, which I have. That is swinging in. Yeah, that's pretty good. should get a bounce and stop fairly close. It's going to be about 6 or 7 feet. over to the left a little all right back to back birdies two under through two so of course maybe playing a little easier today but I need to make hay while the sun shines so to speak let's try and take on a little more of this corner this is a par four it's 487 yards so I need to get this as far down there as possible again just hit that face is it gonna hold the fairway it is really really chance my rode my luck there took my chances and it, it paid off to be fair 195 200 197 Let's take a little off of this, get it to run round to that flag. Is it below my feet? Looks like it's slightly. 
Yeah, it's gone off to the right. I need this. Ooh, that's going to be way right. It is going to roll down to the left, but not enough to help me, I don't think. It's still moving. It might be okay, actually. That. Wow. You know what? I would love to take credit to say that I actually planned that, but I didn't. So that worked out brilliantly. And that is three under three, three. So an absolutely barnstorming start to this third round. I hope to keep it going. The chances are that I won't because I either start strong and finish uh, finish weakly or I start weakly and finish strong. And I never get a good 18, that's for damn sure. Right, 270 yards. Still got 344 to the flag. We're going to go down the right-hand side, even though it is fairly narrow down there. I should be okay. 96%. It's not that much of a problem on this hole because I'm going to have a fairly short shot into the green here. It's going to be around about 100 yards, I would have thought. Yeah, 112 yards. Could have been done with being a bit shorter. 112, 111. Is that wind going to blow this now? Though? That's the thing. Let's imagine the ball is below my feet, so it's going to go out to the right. Let's play it as it is. I want to try and get a birdie here. Okay, the wind was spot on. Oh yes, that should be, if I can convert this tiddler, another birdie. Four from four, so going well. I have no doubt in my mind I will get a par somewhere along the line, but uh, what I'm aiming to do here is steer clear of a bogey this round. That is my aim. It's my aim every single round when I play the golf club. But uh, more so today than ever because I've got off to a really good start. Right, now this could be trouble. Okay, it's in the fairway. It's in the fairway. I tried to take on too much there, but uh, I've left myself a good 200 yards here. And I've got the tree in front of me but it shouldn't affect this shot I'm going to try and go in a little lower here I just want to end I just want this to end up on the green and that's what I want here ah it hit the tree is it going to have the legs to get there it may do it is going to but it's going to roll through a fair amount and it begs the question, what would have happened if I hadn't hit the tree? That probably would have been very, very long. This is going to leave a monster of a putt. So this could be the end of the birdie run, unless I can get this in. And that is, I've got to be honest, very unlikely. Yeah. That was always going to be a tough putt, unless I got it close. Let's just try and convert the part, which I have done. Just grabbed in the side there, but avoided the bogey. Really tough hole, that is. Right, looks like, what do we got here? This is that fairly short par four. But we got the wind blowing into our face today. So let's just try and get it in the fairway. Got 100% on the drive. Smack bang in the middle of the short stuff. And that should leave a little pitch up to the flag. It is. Um, it is 51 yards. It's into the wind. Let's take a little off of this. And that should be bang on. Get it 100%. That needs to stop. 
Okay. Cooking on gas. Greens are a lot slower today. 160. Five under par through six holes. So birdied five, pard one. Hole number seven, 195. 184 with the change in elevation. the wind to start bringing that back in is it is it is it no it's not and that's going to bounce to the right ah that's an error that is an error now we've got rough and we've got wind and yeah this could be this could be a problem Should roll up a little. It's going to leave me a tough putt, though. I haven't hit it, and that's a bogey. What a disaster. Bogey on the par three, seventh, back to four under par. Never mind, let's move on. I've got a par 5 here. It is a fairly short hole, so let's see if we can... The wind's not too bad. Let's see if we can get it on the green for two and give ourselves an opportunity to completely wipe out that drop shot on the previous hole. Got 260 yards to the flag here. I just want to try and get this on. Now, I need to get it up and over that bank, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, this is going the wrong way, and this could be sand. It is sand, but it's going to roll in, so that's not too bad. It's not plugged. Okay, we've got 26 yards. Let's see where we go with this. Looks okay. Looks okay. Stop come back a bit and that is going to give me an opportunity at a fairly straightforward birdie yeah okay so pulled the shot straight back but it's an unnecessary shot to give away let's see if I can get through hole number nine without dropping a shot because this is where I bogeyed on the previous round it's a long par four 481 yards so let's see if we can get this in the fairway and on the green in regulation and that will give me a good opportunity yeah see that was the, where I went wrong yesterday I ended up in that rough there it's gonna stop shy today but that is that's good strate strategic bunker placement there try and catch you out so we've got 202 yards it's into the wind so I'm gonna leave the club at three iron It's going off to the left. The ball was above my feet, but it should still be okay. It is okay, and it's rolling down to the right, so that worked out okay. 202 yards leaves myself 12 feet. A lot of movement in this putt, but it's fairly flat. But if it catches that slope, it is going to run past the hole, so I need to be a little careful here. Oh, just on the underside of the hole. But I managed to avoid the bogey on this hole in this round. So, looking at the scorecard, I shot a 31 on the outward nine. Uh, what have we got there? Six birdies, two pars, and a bogey. Let's jump into the back nine. Now, this is where we scored really heavily yesterday. Let's try and do the same thing again today. That would be absolutely brilliant if I could all right so we've got a three wood we've got 11 mile an hour wind let's pull this round the corner I want to avoid the tree that should be good yeah that's spot on and it's gonna slow down lovely that's gonna leave me about 80 yards 
So with the elevation change, it's 86. I've got the wind behind. Is it going to push it enough? I think it is. Let's try. I need the wind to really take this. One bounce and stop. Don't come back. Okay, I should have added a little more onto that, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. 17 feet. Okay, again on the low side, which is disappointing, and that's a par. So we get off the back, get off to a fairly good start on the back nine. It's not a drop shot. Let's jump into hole number 11. Okay, got a massive, massive tailwind here, so I really need to take advantage. 11 mile an hour. Good 100% drive going to feed it through that channel between those bunkers just there and once again with a fairly short par for 430 yards I should yeah I've got sub 100 yards here so I need to try and get this close 92 with the elevation change winds going to bring it in from the left okay did I allow enough for the wind? No, not. It didn't come back in as much as I thought it was going to. But it should be a birdie. Good stuff. Six under par. Four behind yesterday's score. Let's see if I can match that. Par three. So this is where I came undone on the front nine. Was with a par three. 8 mile an hour wind, 162, 159, so that's bang on the money for that club. Nice 100% drive there. Once again, I've allowed too much for the wind, but it's okay. It's going to give me about a 10, 11 foot putt, I would have thought. 10 feet. They are all across slope though, which makes them quite tough. Oh no! On the high side this time. So I've missed a fair amount of putts today, literally by millimetres, but they're missed nonetheless. You can't live in regret. I have uh, miscalculated, not got the putt, moving on to the next hole. 464 yard par 4. I want to try and get this underneath that tree, try and take on as much of this corner as I can. Yep, beautiful. Nice kick forward as well, so that's going to be 300 yards, going to leave me a 5 or 6 iron into the green, I would have thought. An 8 iron, even better. An 8 iron, got a 6 mile an hour wind. Um, 6, 149, that's going to be pretty much bang on the money. Let's take some off of it. Let the wind bring it in a bit. I've hit it 100%, so another good strike. Have I got the legs on this shot? I have. Okay, that's going to give me another 10 foot-ish putt, I think. 12 feet, slightly uphill this time. Hit it a bit firmer this time, and that really helped because I took a lot of the break out of that putt. So, seven under par, hole number 13, finished, hole number 14, par five, short par five. I want to see if I can really get this down the fairway. I don't want to end up in that rough on the right hand side though. That should start coming back in, but I don't want to roll into that rough, please. Slow down, slow down. That's okay, 280 yards. So we've got 230, we've got 220 to the flag here. Into the wind. So this is going to push the ball back in ever so slightly. I'm going to try and take a little 
off of this, but add some loft. The wind's died down a smidge. 96%. I may have underhit this, but it looks like if it gets a good bounce, that could be pretty good. That is a monstrous putt for an eagle. I'm hoping it's going to run out. It is going to run out. That would have been a horrible putt. So I've got 20 yards here. I need to make sure I get this nice and close. Allow for the wind. Spin back. Okay, that's going to be four feet. Four feet it is. And that's another birdie, up to eight under par. So going well. I would imagine people are going to score pretty well today because with the with the rain, the greens are a bit softer. They're not as firm. It, the courses always play a little bit easier in that uh, in those scenarios. Now we've got 307 yards. Now I have an absolute gale force behind me here, and I think I think this green is drivable. But let's see. It is drivable, but is it holdable? It is not going to hold, but it's okay because that is going to be. I mean, unless I catastrophically mess up this this chip shot or this flop shot, um, this should be a birdie. So that was for eagle. Ooh. It's not as easy as it seems. But it's in nonetheless. So that's nine under par with three holes to play. So on for a fairly decent score here. It's going along nicely. Par three. An absolute gale behind me again. And this is going to be a nightmare to stop. So 181, 170, 160. Oh man, this is so difficult to judge. I'd rather just play up short, actually. I think it's going to be short nonetheless, but... That's not going to be that short. That's actually hit the green. And it's going to stop on the green. So it looks like it yeah, it goes up there. So I'm going to have a long putt. It's going to be about 25 feet, I think. 38 feet. I think I had a similar one yesterday. So it moves at the end. So let's move that over. 38 feet, 9 inches uphill. Going to start to swing now. Oh, and it comes up behind the hole. That was pretty well judged. Two holes to play. Let's see if there's a par 5 in there. Let's have a quick look at the scorecard. So we've got a par 5 here. And then a par 4, long par 4, difficult one to finish. It looks like it. Yeah, stroke index 2 on the last hole. So second hardest hole on the course to finish off. Let's see if I can... Oh man, 15 mile an hour wind. So the likelihood of hitting the green in 2 here. Ooh, especially when you shank it like that. Is significantly reduced. I got away with that one because I absolutely shanked the hell out of that. You could hear the shot. So I've got 294 yards. I am not going to be making the green here. That's for sure, guys. That ball should blow back into the fairway. Don't go in the bunker. It's not, it's gone in the rough. So we've got 56 yards. Let's call it 59 yards into the wind out of the rough. I'm going to add a little more on this. Wow, that's still going to come up shy. Bloody hell. 
Really? Is that going to roll off the green? No, not quite. So this is my birdie putt here. And it's a foot uphill. And once again, yeah, the, f the big slope is right in front of me. You can see that yellow area there. Um, 31 feet, one foot uphill. Get up the slope, and now it'll start to turn. I don't think I could have done a lot better than that. It's, uh, it was a tough putt, but let's just get this in and move on to the final hole. So I'm one behind where I, where I finished yesterday. One behind where I want to be for this round. But let's see if I can, uh, once again, it's a lot. It's only 439 on the course, 479 on the scorecard. It is into the wind again here. So 11 miles an hour into my face. So this is going to be about 260 at the most. 255, so it's still going to be 220 to the flag, which it is. It is downhill, but it is into the wind. So it's, hmm, this is going to be a tough shot. Okay, the wind's starting to really flick that back in towards the hole now. I could do with it dying. I could really do with a birdie on this last hole and finish off with a 10 under par. This is going to be downhill. I just know it, yeah. Yes, 10 under par. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to get that. That's a really tough hole. All right, so finished 10 under par. Match my round from yesterday. I'm pleased with that. Guys, I hope the audio sounded better on this video. Um... I will go and upload it to YouTube now, so when you're watching this, you'll be seeing it on YouTube or watching it on Twitch, whichever takes your fancy. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when new videos go up online, hit the little bell icon after subscribing, and then you'll get notified when a new video gets posted. If you'd like to leave any comments in the box below, feel free to do so. But until next time, which will be round number four, either later on today or tomorrow, keep your eyes peeled, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye now.